Hey, what up, fellers? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, yeah, this video is going to be like an hour long, I think. I'm going to talk about all kinds of goofy shit. I haven't done a video in like two months or something. I don't know, a month, two months. Anyway, as usual, watch this hilarious clip. I don't know what happened in this patch. It's probably pretty funny. Reinforcements. Destination moved. Oh, <laughs> shit. That was badass, right? Take that. Chelis Gamer Pro, or whatever your fucking name is. That was pretty sick, you gotta admit. Pretty hilarious. So anyway, guys. Oh, man. Me and Tom are just loaded up on heavy fucking guns. Holy shit. You do not fuck with Spartans that are loaded like that. Game over, man. Anyways, so yeah, what did I want to talk about? All kinds of goofy shit. All kinds of silly stuff that's been on my mind. I've been meaning to do this video for like the past week or so, but, but I don't know, I just haven't really gotten around to it and other things came up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sorry, I just, uh, I haven't been doing much video stuff at all lately, so. It's a combination of laziness, disgust with the gaming world, and the news world, and the communities, and... I've just been busy with other stuff too, you know, work, and uh, fucking guitars mostly. I, I got a lot of fucking guitars now, dude. Anyway, uh... Yeah, but uh, hey, you know... I told you guys months ago that I'd be losing, that I've been uh, losing interest in, in doing stuff on this channel, so uh, there you go. Um, yeah, I, uh, don't get me wrong, you know, I still want to finish uploading what's left of my goofy Halo Reach Invasion clips. That shit is taking forever. I, I think I got like 200 more clips to upload. And fucking they don't even get watched that much but you know I, I like to watch them it's an easy way for me to look back on the goofy nostalgia of badass halo shit and just kind of reflect on the good good old days you know like you can still play reach online and shit but it's laggier than ever it's more unpopular it takes longer to find games especially in my favorite playlist invasion so I pretty much gave it up plus I was just getting kind of tired of paying for Xbox Live and whatnot, so those days are kind of behind me. But the videos, the clips, I love that shit. It's always there for me to go back and reflect on the good old times I had playing Halo Online, you know, so that's nice. So I still got to finish uploading some shit, but whatever, no big deal. And, uh, you know, from time to time I'll upload videos like this where I just talk about all kinds of goofy shit surrounding gaming and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so what was I talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was just saying I'm, I'm seriously done with PvP uh, online gaming for the most part, I think. Uh, pretty much completely. Ah, uh, shit, man. I haven't even played Halo Reach Online and Invasion for like two months now, maybe longer. But, yeah, I'm seri I think I'm seriously done with online PvP gaming. I'll, I'll play some co-op and stuff, but um, as far as, like, per player versus player stuff, that shit's frustrating the hell out of me these days, and uh, I've just sort of been there and done that, and there's a lot of bad that comes with that kind of good, so it's just... Uh, I mean, where do I start, you know? The fucking lag, the unbalanced teams... The unfair matchmaking, uh, the long search times, fighting the same old players over and over again, uh, playing on the same old maps and game modes over and over again, uh, the fact that it's just plain too similar of an experience every time a lot of the time, uh, there's rage quitters up the ass, betrayers. Idiots who constantly give the enemy team power weapons or easy kills, you know, they're practically AFK and let the enemy spawn kill them. It's, it's horse shit, you know. Those AFK players can be a real pain in the ass. Uh, no life nerd squads, you know, those are a thing. The ganker types, you know. Uh, chicken shit players who hide and run away all the time when they don't even need to. 
Like, I can understand doing that, like, when you're outnumbered and you kind of have no choice but to use guerrilla tactics to, to gain the advantage. You know, like, come on, let's get real here. If the enemy controls 90% of the map, you're going to be forced to hide in that remaining 10% to try to lure the enemies in one at a time and take them on one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way you'd be able to take them on. You know, you don't just run out into a field and go up against a bunch of guys hiding in the woodwork, you know, shooting at you. That's just fucking stupid, you know. Not everyone is Rambo, okay? You, know, you, <laughs> you really can't pull that off. And I think even Rambo wouldn't be that stupid. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, uh, the broken games, the unbalanced, unfair situations that happen, glitches, cheaters, hackers, gankers, you know, shit servers from the developers, lies from developers. Uh, there's always, like, some dirty fucking noob-friendly strategy that players can abuse that helps them win super easily. You know, that shit's always been in, in PvP games. Even in Halo, you know, which is one of the more balanced PvP games. Uh, you know, in Halo 2, there was the dreaded uh, noob combo with the plasma pistol and BR. That shit wrecked motherfuckers, you know. Way too easy to use. Um... Yeah, in Halo 2, the sword was pretty nasty. Uh, in Halo 3, what was really cheap? Halo 3 was pretty damn balanced, honestly. Um, shit, I can't think of too much stuff that was kind of overpowered. Oh, yeah, like the regen. That was fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, sometimes a, a, a well-placed EMP uh, equipment thing. What's that thing called? The... I can't even remember what it's fucking called. I haven't played Halo 3 in such a long time. It was called the, uh... The big blue electric ball that you would throw, and it would EMP and disable people's shields, making them all one-shot. I forget what they fucking call it, but if you threw it just right, you could easily hit, like, two or three enemy players, take their shields off, and then, then they'd be dead in the water, basically, for your team to mop them up with grenades and headshots. So yeah, that that shit was a little overpowered, but you know, Halo 3 was one of the better Halo games for sure. So I try not to give that one too much flack. But then you got like Halo 4, and the saw is like super overpowered, and the bolt shot was fucking overpowered as fuck, you know. And uh, these are some of the more skillful PvP games out there. There there there's a lot of PvP games that are just like holy shit, what a dirty fucking tactic, you know. It's so easy to use and. Anybody, no matter how good they are, gets raped by it. You know what I mean? Like, that shit was... Is... Is very common in PvP games. It's kind of lame, you know? Like, you play online, and you mess around for a little while, and then pretty much everybody's doing the same dirty fucking move, you know? And it doesn't really take much skill. It's not very impressive. It gets kind of re repetitive and old pretty quick, and then, you know, it's, it kind of fucks the game up. But anyway, uh... Yeah, uh... Like I was saying, though, like hackers, gankers, shitty servers from the developers, uh, lies from the developers. <sighs> and, then, and then you look at uh, many problems in online games that are coming out today, and it, it, it's just so many clones of games from the past, lots of lies from developers, tons of shitty microtransactions that pressure players into wasting money. A lot of these games are, are pretty noob-friendly, too, you know? Like I was saying, uh, it doesn't feel very badass when you get a triple kill in Fortnite or cock and duty you know? I'm just saying. Like, lots of people can do that without lifting a finger, you know? It doesn't make you special. It doesn't feel very good. Not really, maybe for a second, kind of, until you remember that what you just did wasn't very impressive. Oh my god, three guys just ran past you and you shot them all in their asses and you killed them. Oh my god, you're Rambo. You're the, you're the fucking Terminator. You're, you're just fucking amazing now. Best player ever. You should go to tournaments, bro, and you should be a millionaire for being so badass. Right? Like, nobody's saying that. <laughs> get, let's get real. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. And then there's the players. In, in online gaming, oh my god, you got many racists, sexists, homophobes, transphobes, and just plain angry jerk-offs that want to get a reaction out of you, you know? Like, they're not there to enjoy the game so much as they are there because, you know, mommy and daddy didn't pay enough attention to them when they were five years old. <laughs> 
it, it's really sad, and it's a huge problem in society. People like this, you know, and uh, yeah, folks like that, you know, they need friends. They need therapy. They need comfort. They need to know that the whole world isn't 100% dog shit, and that it's okay to be a decent person instead of some shitbag calling strangers fucking gay or whatever on the internet. Okay, I'm just saying, like, chill the fuck out. Anyways, a lot, a lot of these guys are very fucking annoying, and they need help. Many of them engage in uh, this thing called swatting. You ever heard about swatting, huh, guys? You know what that is? I'm sure most of you guys know what it is, but if you don't, look it up. It's basically when some asshole gets triggered because he lost or simply met someone uh, he wants to be an asshole to because whatever reason, these guys are dickheads. Uh, and in turn, this prick, this loser, this piece of shit person will call the pigs under false pretenses and that shit is fucked up. You gotta be a pretty big piece of shit to do something like that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there have been instances where they call the cops, the SWAT teams, to go to somebody's house and you really can't blame the pigs too much. I really don't like cops, hence I'm calling them pigs, but like, they're responding to a threat, so you know, they're going to come prepared with itchy trigger fingers, and sometimes somebody might get shot, and it's really fucked up, and that shit does happen. And, yeah, a lot of it is to blame on the cops, because, let's get real, uh, cops, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of problems with the police force. Um, but, you know, that guy who made that fucking false allegation to the SWAT teams to go raid this that individual's house, that person is a gigantic fucking piece of shit, and there should be dire consequences for what those motherfuckers do, and there often is, and that's a good thing, uh, there was this one time that uh, an innocent man ended up getting shot because of this bullshit, and he had nothing to do with any of this, like, he was just an innocent bystander completely, like, as a result of though, the fuckhead who called in the, the false uh, allegation or whatever, uh, he's, like, in prison right now, so, you know, fuck him, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, but, yeah, I, I, I know that I personally have been a huge jerk and have crossed the line with many folks, and for that, I'm sorry, you know, I crossed the line a lot, and I'm trying to be better, you know, uh, but I, I would never do something as hardcore as try to fuck someone's life up physically over some fucking video game interaction type thing, you know? Like, Jesus. People who do that are seriously going way too far. I look at what I've done and said to uh, uh, other players in online games and on YouTube talking about games and stuff, and I've acted like a piece of shit. You know, I've ganked. I've cheated. I've called people horrible names. But I would never, like, physically try to fuck up their life by swatting them or stalking them in real life somehow. Like, Jesus, that's going way too far. And, you know, fuck those people. I already, Like I said, I already feel bad for what I've done, you know. Uh, but, yeah, they're usually some very super-duper insensitive asshole types. Uh, usually right-winger types, honestly. And that's also depressing, you know. I... You know, give the right wing a bad name, and honestly, the right wing is pretty much nothing but a bad name at this point, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, those kinds of guys, though, these salt right types. Speaking of which, uh, some dickhead recently subbed to my channel by the name of, like, Pumba or something like that. I can't remember. I don't really care what his fucking name is. I just remember that who he was, who he is. I looked at the subs. He subs to far-right reactionary shitbags. There's this guy, uh, this douchebag, his name is David Cullen. I think that's his name. I, I, I can't remember his name very much either because, like I said, I don't fucking care about the names of these assholes necessarily. I just care about who they are and want to avoid them at all costs if they are genuinely who, who they appear to be, which is alt-right trolls. Racist, sexist, crazy people, totally fucked in the head, you know, assholes, people who are just there to ruin your day and troll and be a fucking pain in the ass. The kind of person that, you know, if you're looking to have a decent life, you would want to ignore, <laughs> you know? 
So, yeah, don't go to this guy's channel. Uh, apparently, he's some atheist shitbag, uh, Sargon of Akkad, Soygon, that's what I call him now, Soygon. Soygon butt kisser now turned uh, Christian or something like that. Like, I'm sorry, but if idiots like this guy are who you are a fan of, please unsub to my fucking channel if you are a fan of these media fascist types, okay? Like, I'm embarrassed uh, <laughs> that you think that I'm similar enough in your tastes to be someone that you would also sub to, okay? Please, I don't want anything to do with you Nazi shitbag incel types, okay? Become decent human beings first, and then sub to me, okay? As of right now, I think people like you who support these salt right types, you fucking man mayonnaise boys out there, you know? Uh, you guys, you guys should uh, go fuck yourselves because you're, you're fans of gigantic shitbag lying shill Nazi types out there like like uh, Chowder and PJ uh, Chwatson and Thundercunt and Stoygon and Dim Fool and uh, the list goes on like like uh, their Cunter Avalon kid that tasty little shitbag basement dweller fucking no lifer like if you like these assholes and then there's that quarterling guy, yeah, that big fat neck beard. <laughs> anyway, God, there's too many. If you like these assholes, then it means you're an idiot or you're a horrible person. Probably both. Get your shit together, assholes, and stop being anti anti Medicare for all. You know, only a special kind of stupid and evil would be against that. Just talking facts, okay? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, maybe that was being mean, calling some of these people stupid. Maybe they're just completely ignorant, which I guess is a form of stupidity, but whatever. It's 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 me being nice to people who are stupid. I don't I don't know, something like that. But anyway, uh Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not gonna lie. I myself used to be a bit of a shit lord, edge lord type guy who thought he was always right. Turns out I was foolish enough to think uh, that dude GLL was a decent human being who wasn't uh, lying a lot and wasn't a giant hypocrite until I learned otherwise and accepted that he was a bit of a Nazi type person, a bit of a Nazi bootlicker type person, you know, always uh, spouting the, the term SJW unironically, you know, very angry dude. I didn't really understand what he was getting at until I got more involved in politics and found out, yeah, GLL is a bit of a Nazi shitbag. You know, just look who he subs to. Those assholes that I just mentioned, he subs to like half of those fucking pricks. But yeah, it, it took me long enough to fucking realize that. So, uh, yeah, way to go, Dave, right? Fucking, what a dumbass I am. So I'll never stop feeling dumb about that, okay? So I'm clearly not the best person to take advice from, but I'm trying to be better, though. And admitting when you are dumb is a good start, and I was fucking stupid. And, uh, you know, everybody does that, though. We all look back on our past and go, oh, man, I fucked up, or I was an idiot, you know? The key is just to not be so fucking stupid that it's irredeemable. To where, like, you know... You never make any effort to change, or worse, you physically hurt people or kill people or something like that. So anyway, uh, but you know, I'm all for redemption, so if you are kind of a alt-right troll shitlord type person, even if you are a little bit like I was, like, if you're willing to change, that's great, man, you know? That's great. Uh... Anyway, moving on, uh, I want to talk about my criticisms of 343 and Halo and gaming all together. They've changed somewhat. I've become, in, uh, I've become uh, more chill and less, less extreme, obviously, as you guys have noticed over the past few months. I think it's a good thing. If anything, for my health, you know, it, it's not good to be mad all the time and fucking pissed off at, at a company for, you know, doing a pretty shit job with one of your favorite gaming franchises, you know. But yeah, it's not healthy to always be mad. I don't want an early heart attack or nothing, you know? Like my brother, he had diabetes a little while ago, you know? And he had a, uh, like a fucking mild 
not very serious heart attack, but still serious, like he would have died if he didn't get the surgery and all that. Uh, so yeah, that was scary as fuck, you know? I need that motherfucker, man. He, he's really smart. He knows how to run the business. I'm the dumbass who just does all the, you know, physical stuff with the monogramming, but without him, I'd be fucked. You know, and he almost fucking died, uh, what is it, almost two years ago now? Scary as fuck, you know? Like, when something like that happens to you where where somebody you really depend on, like, really depend on, not just like when you're a little kid and you your parents divorce or whatever. You're, you're a little kid then. You don't understand fully what what's at stake here. When you're, you know, when you've reached the age of reason and you're basically an adult, like, that shit fucking is scary as hell. It's because, like... You're not so stupid anymore. You fucking, when when a traumatic experience like that happens, it's traumatizing, and like you think of all the things that are not good as a result of someone you care about that you depend on dying. Like it hits you like a ton of bricks. It's fucking scary, and that's life, man. You got to deal with it. And uh, my way of dealing with it is, you know, uh, eating healthier and exercising, but also. Like, putting putting your foot down, drawing a line in the sand, and, and knowing, hey, you know, you got to you gotta make the best of, of life, you know? You got to be smart. You got to gotta always be moving forward, you know? And all that shit. But anyway, um, but yeah, uh, it, it's also not healthy to be so obsessed about what some random-ass video game developer is up to, you know? Like, I was pretty obsessive, you know? Like, I was just going off all the time, like, every day or every other day, bitching about 343, whether it was making videos or just yapping away on the comment sections of other YouTube videos, getting into fucking Halo fights with other people and shit. It was just silly and childish, and even though I was right most of the time, like, fucking... Uh, you know, it's fucking, it's still pretty lame and stupid, and I was being lame and stupid. So, yeah, I was pretty obsessive, but now, now I talk about 343 like once a month or whatever. I really don't talk too much about them, and I ignore the fanboys. Uh, like, I just don't even really talk to anybody else about Halo other than, like, a few people that I know personally that have their heads on straight. <laughs> yeah. I still think 343 blows, of course. I'm not totally fucking stupid. <laughs> but, you know, as fun as it is to make fun of bad companies, it does tend to get old, hence why I don't really talk about them much these days, hence why I spend 99.9% .9 of my life doing other things. But, you know, I'm still going to talk about it sometimes just because it's fun. <laughs> It's kind of sad, right, that uh, talking about how bad 343 uh, Halo is is funner than actually playing their games, apparently. <laughs> like, oh, man, y'all see the uh, Halo Infinite uh, trailer thing that happened, uh, like, what, a month or two ago? Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't really dig the trailer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. To sum up, uh, yeah. First we get some guy, right, who we're supposed to care about, I guess. Um, they try to get all emo with us and show us that he has a kid and a wife, you know, this bearded dude with a funny voice, you know. It, yeah. I swear, he struck me as, like, an emo kid, 13-year-old, trapped in an adult male's body. It was weird. I uh, <laughs> wasn't really digging his personality too much. Way too forced with the emotion, I felt, but... Whatever, this is not a big deal. So, okay, cool, I guess. Sure, whatever. Then we find Chief floating in outer space, right? I'm like, oh, look at that. Okay, cool, I guess. Then the dude straps him up with uh, some cables somehow and drags him inside of the uh, spaceship with him. And, uh, yeah, all while being super emotional to a, you know, somewhat cringy degree. If I remember correctly, the guy kept on pleading, please don't be dead, or something like that, as he was about to, you know, revive uh, Master Chief jumper cable style. And, um, yeah, it was pretty cringy. It was as if he was a Halo fan pr praying that 343 won't fuck up again for the, uh, who knows how many times now. Uh, pretty hilarious and pathetic, in all honesty. In all honesty, but, uh, you know, I, I did laugh a little, I'm not going to lie. I thought that shit was pretty funny, you know. 
Like he was a perfect embodiment of how sh how pathetic the fanboys are, and and uh, <laughs> just just a really good embodiment of how a lot of people feel. I thought. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, Chief, Chief becomes online, and he it, it's kind of cool. Frame rate and visuals are pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Art style is a little more of what hardcore old school Halo fans want, like myself. So I dig that. Um, you don't have the Power Rangery Lego look, you know, so much. And, and now we're going back to a more old school, actual Halo looking look, which is nice. Uh, although some, uh, there are some things I didn't really uh, enjoy too much. Uh, Chiefs. Big ass 117 painted onto his chest. A big white bold 117 on his chest. It's a little on the nose, you know? As if we don't know who he is or something. So 343 is making damn sure that we know that the big green badass is Master Chief. Because <laughs> we're fucking stupid and we didn't know that. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. But uh, anyway, uh, his armor, it also looked smooth as fuck. You know, for a guy whose armor should be soaked in the blood of a thousand alien assholes, uh, <laughs> you know, like, it looked pretty clean. Which I thought was lame, considering he obviously just went through some serious shit, hence why he's floating around in space for some reason. Obviously something bad happened to him just now. But, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, I, I guess I just liked the scratched-up Master Chief armor more. I thought, like, that looked really fucking badass. Uh, anyway, Halo, Halo 2 and 3 really showed that off, you know. Like, that, that armor style, it looks like he's been through hell, you know? He's been through hell and back. But whatever, though, no big deal. Hey, uh, hold on a sec, guys. I need to get a fucking drink. Where's my goddamn... Drinking flask. Fuck. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? God damn it. God damn it. Sorry, guys. I need a drink real bad. I don't do these long video talk things. Not really. Oh, there it is. Sweet. <coughs> ugh, ugh down the windpipe. That sucks when that happens. <coughs> oh well, it wasn't that bad. Alright. <coughs> what the fuck was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, but, you know, d despite the cosmetic uh, things that I have little tiny nitpicks with, eh, no big deal, whatever though, who, who really cares? So then some danger comes, right, and Master Chief makes a snappy one-liner, which uh, was probably the coolest part of the trailer, I thought. I always get goosebumps when Master Chief is around panicking little bitch characters, and he tells them to shut the fuck up and man up and fight the motherfuckers knocking at your door, you know what I mean? It's fucking awesome. Whenever Chief does that shit, it's fucking badass. It's badass as hell. I love that shit. I fucking, that's what's so awesome about his character. Like, he just does the Rambo thing like a motherfucker. Like, it's it's sick. I remember in Halo 1, you know, like, when there's the, the drop pod scene after the, you beat the first level and there's that guy and he's like, we're not going to make it, we're fucked, or whatever. And Chief just grabs him with one hand and chucks his ass into the escape pod and rushes in there with the rest of them, you know. And some of them are panicking, you know, and he calms everybody down by just simply looking fucking badass like nothing's a big deal to him like it doesn't matter what 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 you know traumatic events await them as long as they got chief by their side they're fine you know like it's inspiring it's awesome granted in the next scene they all fucking die except master chief which is fucked but you know it's the <laughs> you know what i mean and then there's that uh epic scene in um in the end of the game, you know, where uh, Cortana is trying to find out a way to deal with uh, Guilty Spark, that piece of shit, stealing all the data from uh, the crashed Pillar of Autumn, you know, and she's trying to find a way to deal with this situation, and Master Chief is just there, you know, chucking a grenade up and down in his hand, like, how about we just blow this motherfucker up? How about we just burn this motherfucker down, you know? And Cortana, is, as smart as she is, she's just like, you know what? 
sometimes brute force is the way to go. Fuck this place. And then they get to work and they kick ass and that's the end of the fucking game. You know, like, stuff like that is awesome about Chief. And then, of course, in Halo 2, there's that epic moment where he's just like, I'm going to give the Covenant back their fucking bomb, shove it up their asses, and blow them all to hell. Because fuck them. You know, it's like, well, goddamn, Chief is super badass. What do you want, you know? And then there's that scene later where he defeats a prophet by punching his face in. That's totally fucking awesome. You, you want to deal with alien scum? Punch him out. <laughs> you know, who needs guns? Fucking punch him out. And then there's the scene at the end, even though it was sort of a, a, a cliffhanger that really pissed a lot of people off. you got to admit, if you're going to do a cliffhanger, that shit was pretty badass. Chief's just there like, I'm going to fucking end this shit, motherfucker. You know, and it's like, damn. You know, and then there's that scene in Halo 3 where they all think he's dead in the beginning, and they're just like, well, we can't leave him here, you know. What are we going to do? And he just gets up and he's like, you bitches are not leaving me behind. And it's like, damn, that guy's a hardcore motherfucker. And, like, he's inspiring as fuck. Like, even the Arbiter, who's supposed to be the leader of a big army of assholes, even he's just like, no, you guys are in the right. And, uh, like, Master Chief, I'll, I'll follow that guy to hell. He's the man. You know, like even even the most badass of elites is like, all hail Master Chief. He is the fucking shiznat. You know, like it's awesome. I love that about Chief. I even like those scenes in uh in in Halo Four and Halo Five where he commanded a little authority. It was badass. You know, it, it's he may not be the most highest ranking human of all time in the pecking order of government and military within the UNSC. Halo lore with the humans, but like he's the most respected. They love that guy. He's only saved the galaxy like five fucking times or whatever. <laughs> like, like it's awesome. So I, I really dug that about the trailer. I'm not gonna lie, that was cool to see Chief just be like, "No, we stay and fight." You know, that's awesome. So, you know, if they do a lot of stuff like that, I'm sure 343 will fuck the story up in other ways. But if they get that part right, that'll be nice. Just saying, you know, and. uh yeah, with uh, Halo 4, they made him pretty emo in a lot of scenes, and that was annoying. And in Halo 5, like, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, I don't want to talk about it. So maybe they'll get his character better in Halo Infinite, which would be nice. Like, don't get me wrong, like I said, I'm sure 343 will still do an overall piss-poor job with the story. These guys can't write. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, unless a major change happens, I'd love to be proven wrong, but... Uh, you know, based on the track record, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't have much faith in this, in the future of 343's games, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and then the fight looks like it's about to happen in the trailer. But no, that's it. Get ready for Halo Infinite Microtransactions on the fourth Xbox, late 2020. No gameplay shown at all, and Cortana will be there in some shape or form, I guess. Sure. Yep. <laughs> no wonder I don't talk. No wonder I talk about Halo like less these days. You know, like apparently there'll be a version for the regular Xbox One people, but I'm betting it'll be noticeably weak compared to the newer version. Like it won't run as good, or if there's like a lot going on, and if you're playing split screen or something, it'll lag more, and it'll definitely be like noticeable. Also betting that the new Xbox next year will launch with tons of fucked up problems at a price that's not justified. <laughs> you know, come on, let's get real. It, it was kind of bad with the first Xbox. It was pretty bad with the 360. It was pretty fucking bad with the Xbox One. What the fuck do you guys think is going to happen? Come on, right? I'd love to be proven wrong. I'd love for the Xbox 4 or Scarlet, whatever the fuck they're calling it. I hope... It launches great and stays great, but that, like, never happens anymore. Come on. <laughs> like, that never fucking happens anymore. Like, after N64 and PS1, like, consoles have been having problems, man. Like, my N64 still works. My SNES still works. My PS1 still works, you know? Everything after that has had issues. 
Well, I think I think the GameCube still works. <laughs> that thing, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't have a GameCube for too long, but you know, that I was mostly an Xbox guy. To the, anyway, what what the fuck was I talking about? I just had a brain fart. Um. I was going to talk about, uh, yeah, um, the, the new, uh, Xbox coming out, you know, like, uh, I, I bet you it's going to be a price point that's not justifiable, you know, like 500, 300, 500, 600, maybe even 700, that would be totally fucked, right? There's that Stadia Google console that's coming or whatever, I think that's going to be a big fucking joke, whatever. Anyway, back to my Microsoft and 343, okay? This is how they roll these days, and they roll quite shitty. So, yeah, they're not terribly important to me. Halo has, as a whole has become uh, less important to me overall, i got to say. Um, moving on in gaming and life in general. Like I said, online communities being shitty, lying developers, microtransactions, weak games... It's kind of turned me off to the future of gaming, you know? Sure, 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 there's a gem every now and then, but for the most part, it's shit. Gaming has always put out more trash than actual good games, but today it's worse than ever. Like, seriously. Like, the only thing about new games versus old games of the past that's better now is frame rates, graphics, and controls. And even then, there's exceptions. Jesus. But like I said, the costs of gaming today are fucked up. Online fees, DLC, special editions, pre-orders, microtransactions, false advertising, misleading info, overhyping, broken bullshit, equipment breaking, lies up the ass, batteries... <laughs> So many of my fellow gamers are stupid fucking assholes. It's frustrating. It, it makes a lot of sense that I'm losing some interest in gaming. Or at least losing faith in the future of gaming, you know? Seriously, that's... Like, like I said, though, gaming has always put out more trash than actual good games. But before, it, back in the day, it used to be like 10% good, 90% shit. Now it's more like... Uh, nine, 99% shit, 98% shit. <laughs> uh, but hey, at least we have the classics, though. Am I right, guys? That's good enough for me. All hail 1998. Best fucking year for gaming ever. Or uh, at least one of the best. Come on, you gotta admit that. Uh, one last thing about Halo, though, that's not in the games, but... Uh, it's that show that they're working on. I wanted to comment my thoughts on that. Um, the guy, the actor that they're getting to play, Master Chief, and uh, they also cast a lady that's going to be playing uh, Cortana, Halsey, or whatever. Um, these two actors, they're fairly decent actors, if you ask me. Um, I think it's good, good enough casting. So that I approve of. Uh, here's where I begin to have big problems. All right, here's here's the thing. <laughs> the fucking guys at Showtime setting up for the show said that they are working closely with 343 in terms of writing. Uh, so I'm sure you guys can <laughs> sympathize with my reaction to this in that that's not good. 343 are pretty bad writers, okay? Uh, sorry, guys, but it's bad enough that video game movies and TV shows tend to suck huge shit 99% of the time. I saw that Witcher show with um, the Man of Steel guy coming out. That doesn't look very good. I'd love to be proven wrong, but... Uh, uh, but, yeah... Like I said, though, 99% of uh, video games coming to the big screen turns out to be shit. Let's get real. That's pretty much how it goes every fucking time. It's rare when they get it right. 
So it's that's already bad enough, and now I'm hearing that they're working closely with 343 in terms of writing the script. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I have next to no faith <laughs> for this show. I'm sorry, 343 fanboys. I want to be fair. I do. I try to be fair. But this this is how I honestly feel. If, if it's somehow good, I'll be astonished, and I'll kiss that 343 dick for doing a good job with the writing. I don't see how that's possible considering it's 343. My bet is it'll just be a marketing show to help hype up fools into buying the microtransaction game known as Halo Infinite, which I'm sure will come out shortly afterward. If that's how it is, then as usual, I will be saying fuck you 343, okay? Like, I'm sorry. And you fanboy types who support 343 can get fucked right along with them. I, uh, so yeah, I've been, uh, streaming some PS4 stuff, uh, uh, but, um, or at least I've been trying to, you know. I'm not very good at this shit. And, uh, trying to upload it on my, uh, YouTube channel and whatnot. So, uh, you know, some folks can uh, watch me get wrecked in uh, the Souls games, basically. Uh, but yeah, I'm not very good at streaming, and I'm not a very computer smart person, so you gotta forgive me, I'm kinda stupid in that area. So if my stream is up and it's boring as shit, just don't watch it, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to make it private because I'm a jackass, I also don't care that much. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, and, uh, I didn't know this about streaming, but yeah, there's a big fucking problem I have. Delays. Uh, yeah, um, when you stream a game, there's like a seven second delay for the viewers. Like, like if I do something, they don't actually see me do it in the game until like seven seconds later. Sometimes it's really bad. Like, sometimes people don't see what I do until it's like two minutes later. It's fucking really bad. I wish I knew how to stop that kind of shit, but like I said, I'm shit with computers and streaming details, and, uh, fucking, I'm, I'm getting wrecked in that Neo game right now. Haven't played in a while, so, yeah. I'm much better at Dark Souls 1, and even in that game, I kind of suck. The, the only thing I'm a master of is being the only, the only guy on YouTube with the most uh, hilarious Halo Reach invasion clips, basically. Or at least I think I am. Uh, I'm up there, uh, that's for sure. I think I have about 1,500 goofy-ass Halo Reach invasion clips uploaded, approximately. Turns out if you get on uh, Skype, though, or some shit, and point a webcam at your TV, uh, other pe people can watch you play live, and it's very close to real time with next to nothing for delay, like maybe a second, you know? Hardly any lag at all. Sadly, though, the picture quality, of course, isn't the greatest, or the sound quality, but, you know, you can't have everything, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I, I was doing more research, and even the biggest game streamers in the world, they complain about viewer lag, you know? like. What can you say? The internet just kind of sucks a lot like that, you know? Maybe one day this problem will be resolved. I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, also, uh, yeah, I've been giving Dark Souls 3 a try for the first time, finally. Uh, what can I say? I'm, I'm slow to get into the, the newer games. I guess some people would consider Dark Souls 3 an old game at this point. Fuck. But yeah, if a game is new, I, li I likely won't play it ever, or I... I'll get into play I'll get around to playing it like maybe a year or so later. <laughs> I like never get new games anymore. Ever since wallet rape, fucking microtransaction stuff, toxic gaming, gamer bro communities and and just like clones of games like Call of Duty and Madden every year 24/7 and and just overall gaming getting worse in the areas where it matters most, you know, like, and, and just playing growing up and getting older and being busier, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, because of that, I'm just not that guy who waits for midnight launches anymore, you know, I'm just not that excited for gaming's future, I'll still game, die, I'm sure, but, you know, 
Just saying. There's some issues here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dark Souls 3 is pretty boss, I say. Yep. Oh, uh, speaking of bosses, I uh, beat my first boss on my first try last night. There was this evil witch bitch who fucking made clones of herself to try to trick my bitch ass, you know? A fucking bitch almost got me, but I fucking beat her ass with one Estes uh, flask sip remaining, you know? Fucking felt good to fucking just destroy that wench on my first try, and she almost got me, but I fucking emerged victorious, you know? That kind of feeling... That's why I like the Souls games. They deliver that classic gaming experience feel where you walk into a situation that's fucked and you get through it through the skin of your teeth, you know? Anyway. Skin of your teeth. That's a funny saying. Teeth don't really have skin. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about that Switch Lite real quick. That's what I wanted to talk about, the Nintendo uh, Switch Lite. Yeah. Talk about that real quick. 200 bucks, apparently. All right. It's a Switch that's only portable. That's it. Uh, apparently, the battery life is going to be, like, a little crappier or something. I think I heard him say that. But, yeah, I'm not going to get it, personally. Might get it as a gift for a friend who might be uh, into that sort of thing, I guess. But, personally, I'm not a fan. The ability to go from dock mode to portable is kind of appealing with a few of the multiplayer games, and I kind of want that option to be available, even though I'm not really into the Switch because of its multiplayer games. I think the new Smash is pretty shit, and Platoon is pretty shit, and they have a bunch of like side payments, little microtransactions in there. They're not that bad, but they're like kind of bad, so I, I just don't care enough to want to be anywhere near that, honestly. So, yeah, if I was going to get a Switch, I'd only get it for, like, maybe uh, Dark Souls Remastered, because I heard it's not bad on the Switch, and it's, well, it's not that great either, but, like, it's portable, so I, I like Dark Souls, so portable Dark Souls sounds pretty badass. Uh, uh, of course, Breath of the Wild on the Switch is pretty dope. Um um, the Mario Odyssey, that's the only way to play that game is with a Switch, so... Yeah, um, if I get a Switch, I'll definitely mostly for a single-player experience, you know? I mean, I, I know I say that about every console that I get. I'm mostly a single-player guy, but you know what I mean. Like, especially with the Switch, that's what I'd be going for. Shit, even the PS4, that's mostly what I'm going for. Shit, gaming consoles today in general... Like, single-player gaming is where it's at, and the multiplayer side of the gaming today is so fucked up. But, um, yeah, like I said, I might I might get, get the Switch Lite as a gift for a friend, maybe, that kind of thing. But personally, I'm not a fan. Um, yeah. Um, uh, uh... But the main, the main thing that scares me about the Switch is, uh... Have you, have you heard about that lawsuit going down that's pretty bad? Apparently enough people complaining, creating like a class action lawsuit, I think, I, I heard him saying, about faulty analog stick drift problems. And I've had my fair share of that bullshit happening on my Xbox 360 controllers. Fucking, I've gone through like, like 10 fucking controllers or something like that. It sucks. Um, so yeah... Apparently, the Switch is having this problem. So what the fuck is this shit, you know? Like, I got the Wii U used, fucking used, and my analogs on my Wii U pad are still working just fine, and I played the fuck out of Breath of the Wild on that thing, and a bunch of classic N64 games on that thing, and, like, goddamn, it still works just fine. What the fuck is going on? Why does the old console have better analogs than the newer one? What the fuck? Uh, some bullshit. So my advice is don't get the Switch until the problem is fixed. Apparently it's not so bad that... Um, sorry, I got a headache. What am I trying to say? Uh, apparently it, it's uh, a bad... It, it's not, like, horrible to some people, but 
the problem is still like so bad that many people are saying that their joy cons won't last a full year you know like th them bitches are like what 60 70 bucks or some shit to get a pair fucking horse shit you know I'm still hoping they make an enhanced switch one day, hopefully next year, that fixes a lot of these dog shit issues and finally makes a switch that's worth getting that doesn't have a, all these problems. I, I'm talking better visuals, longer battery life, uh, less cheap parts, make the games run better and smoother, better frame rates. So yeah, I'll just wait until next year, I suppose. I can wait. I hope they give us a good upgraded switch one day, you know? Also, still hoping that the new Metroid Prime 4 doesn't suck balls, so I'm crossing my fingers. I have a good feeling about that one, so I don't think they'll fuck it up. But, you know, I'm not going to 100% fanboy it up, I'm just saying, you know, I think they'll do a good job. So, basically when I say that, that means, yeah, I might get it for 30 bucks one day. <laughs> So I heard the new Crash Team Racing is, uh, holy shit, this video is going to be like two hours long, Jesus, sorry guys, I got a lot to say. So anyway, I heard the new Team Crash Racing game or whatever is adding some bullshit ass microtransactions, so that's fucked. I'm not going to lie to you guys, alright, I feel like a fucking idiot right now. All right, hear me out. When I saw Activision worked with some guys to do the Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3 remake, remastering thing or whatever you fucking call it, right? I saw people praising it and saying that it was a great way to get a blast from the past all over again. And if you never played those original games, this was a good way to fucking recapture that joy. And they did a good job, apparently. And also, no microtransaction horse shit. So I got it cheap on my PS4, and I played it a little bit, and I've been enjoying it, and that's great. Badass. Then the same shit happened with Spyro the Dragon uh, 1 through 3. Decent remakes with no microtransaction bullshit. And this is stuff that's being produced by Activision, not really developed by them, but they had a hand in it, I guess. They were just acting as, you know, putting, putting the bill. But, like, Bill, this stuff is being helped to be pushed to the forefront by Activision. Wow. Okay. Activision's name is on the box and it's not wallet rape? What? <laughs> you know? Then I saw that Sekiro Shadow Dies Twice game from From Software and it's being produced by Activision and it apparently does not have microtransactions and it's a decent game. So... I was starting to think, just because Activision's name is on something doesn't always mean it'll be shit. And I guess that's a decent argument to make. For a while, I was simply writing Activision off, always saying Activision is trash, and it needs to go in the trash, and that's where it needs to stay. <laughs> yeah, that was my motto. Um, so yeah, that, that's like three Activision-produced games in a row that are actually not wallet rapey and are decent games. So I was just kind of like, say what? You know, like, what the fuck? Has Activision changed for the better? Huh? I can't believe I was having any semblance of emotion in that regard. I was stupid to think that. So recently they did the uh, Crash Team Racing. I was curious about getting the game. Many have said it's better than Mario Kart 64, which is my favorite Mario Kart. And I was like, what? How could it be better than my favorite Mario Kart? So, if it's better than Mario Kart 64, then I need to check this shit out. So I was curious, and I was thinking about getting this game at some point. What better way to get into that old fucking game that I missed out on than getting the remastered version, right? Right? Yeah. <sighs> Sadly, after they launch the game, they all of a sudden want to wallet rape us. I mean, the balls, right? The fuck?
fucking balls on these motherfuckers. A fucking remake, remake, remaster type thing that has wallet rape horseshit. A game that originally never had such horseshit in, uh, what, 1999? That's when Crash Team Racing came out? Anyway, it, it's brought back to us so they can wallet rape us. You know? Like, wonderful. I wonder what classic old school game they're gonna bring back next just to just so that they can fucking wallet rape us, you know? Anyway, Jim Sterling, he did a good video on it. So, yeah, go check his thing out. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently remakes and remasters, even ones like this, can often get you with the nasty surprise of microtransaction... Ah, I hate saying that word. Microtransaction horseshit. <laughs> a few times a week, uh, like a few weeks... Or a few months after launch, they'll hit you with the microtransaction horseshit, apparently. So you gotta be real careful these days. They pull shit like that. Yeah, Jimmy Stengel, uh, he recently warned me about Cyberpunk. He said that it might be a wallet rape microtransaction game. Like, I don't think it will, Jimmy, but you got a point, man. You really do. These days, you never fucking know, am I right? A developer that seems genuine might turn into a greedy fucknut overnight. Like, it practically happened with companies like Blizzard, Bungie, BioWare, Bethesda, Ubisoft, EA, Activision, etc., etc., the list goes on. It's rare when they do anything good now, these companies, right? So, we now live in a time where developers will tell you that the game they are working on won't have microtransactions, then it comes out, and before you fucking know it, whoop-de-fucking-do, of course they fucking lied to your face. Like I said, a, a few weeks after launch, maybe a few months after launch, bam, they start flooding microtransactions into the game. It's almost like you have to wait several months to a year after the game launches to fully know and be 100% sure that you're not getting wallet raped by the game. And even then, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, this is sort of a problem you can't fully avoid, unfortunately. It's shitty like that. I, my advice is just try to be careful of that shit, you know, just try to be careful. So yeah, I was thinking, I was actually thinking about getting Crash Team Racing, but now that I've learned about this, Fuck that, okay? I'd rather just get the original copy on a PS1 disc and play it on my PS3 or some shit, you know? But who knows if I even fucking care enough to do that. <sighs> I feel stupid and dirty for even slightly getting back into Crap Division's good graces, you know? Bastards couldn't resist going back to being horrible, greedy fuckheads, you know? Ah. <sighs> I guess the nice guy in me wants them to do good by us gamers, and I want to reward them whenever they do do good by us gamers. Them not putting microtransactions in Sekiro and Spyro and Crash, the the one through three, like that's that's a message to us gamers that they're making the right moves. They're being cool. We should support that, and I want to support that. But you know second they throw microtransactions in the game, that's when I just drop the controller and walk the fuck out, you know? Don't get those kinds of games. Try not to, at least. Anyway, moving on. Like, like I said, I, 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 I want to support any gaming company that does a good job. I really do. But some of these motherfucking developers, you know, fucking, they're not making it easy. And for a guy like me, they could make it really easy. I make a lot of fucking money. <laughs> like, I'm a slave to my job. I work like 60 hours a week. I, I, I'm sometimes making like 100 bucks an hour at that place. Granted, I got more bills to pay for rent and all that shit, but it's really not that bad. And uh, fucking, like I said, it's, it's crazy. So, I can afford all this shit in gaming world, but I choose not to buy the dog shit out there, you know? Because it's a waste of my time and it's a fucking insult to, to, to fucking standards of the gaming world. Anyway, uh, moving on, I want to talk about that ninja guy. 
Ninja. Twitch streamer ninja. Yeah. Nowhere near as cool as the Ask a Ninja Ninja. That guy's pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, uh, he's like the most popular game streamer, or one of them anyways, Ninja. Cunt, uh, makes like a very undeserved <laughs> $500,000 roughly every month. Ridiculous. I really don't like the guy because he's shilled big time for 343 during the Halo 4 days. It was real cringe, man. He was promising that 343 would add a true skill system akin to, to Halo 3, to Halo 4, you know? Like, yeah, that never happened. The dude was a real dick to people who didn't trust in 343, calling people like me fucking assholes and stuff. Just because, you know, we were like, I, I think Halo 3 sucks, I, I think Halo 4 sucks ass, you know? Uh, just because we were losing faith in a company that continued to disappoint us, Ninja treated us like shit, you know, like, what an asshole. The dude also preaches how we should all be nice to each other, even though he's gone on many, many angry rants at people a bunch of times, cussing like crazy. Like, <laughs> like he's a bit of a jackass, you know? Like, there was that one time that he said the N-word uh, for a rap song. Yeah, he did that, and uh, the particular rap song that he was singing, like, didn't even have the N-word in it. <laughs> so, yeah, the guy is a living fucking advertising billboard of his own fucking self, you know? He clearly has no morals, not really, you know? And don't, don't give me that, well, you just don't like him because you're jealous of him, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fuck off, all right? Like, that excuse is weak, and you know it, and I'll tell you why, all right? You know damn well that there's some rich cocksucker out there in this world that you share with him. You don't like him. So just shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut the fuck up with that dick sucking, all right? Ninja's a rich guy who I don't like. Not that I'm jealous of him, because I think he's a piece of shit. Okay, maybe he's not that bad. But he is pretty shitty. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, everybody has somebody that they don't like that makes a lot of money. All right? Everybody does. And he's one of, he's one of them for me, okay? Just saying. All right? Doesn't have to do with jealousy necessarily. All right? Although if I did have his money, that would be pretty sweet. But uh, I'm, I'm happy in life. I make enough money. I run my own business with my brother. We make like a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. It, it's not a big deal. You want to know something fucked up? Trump's fucking bullshit tariffs. They don't really affect my business very much because you know I run a monogram shop and it's sewing supplies. And uh, what's Trump's daughter do? Oh yeah, that's right. She runs clothing lines and shit. So those products that help her business. They're not getting taxed to shit, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm saved just because I, I'm lucky about the line of work I'm in. How fucked is that, right? Uh, wow. Anyway, uh, so yeah, like I said, he has no morals, obviously. Which brings me uh, to what Ninja's been up to now. He recently accepted some contract to leave Twitch for good or whatever, and now he's going to stream on this new thing. Uh, that Microsoft is doing, I think, called Mixer or some shit, if I got that right. I'm not sure, but that's what I heard, I think. Anyway, uh, his old account on Twitch has been uh, having porno advertised on it or some shit like that, and uh, Ninja apparently uh, talked about that and thought that it was disgusting and wrong or whatever. He said something along those lines. He expressed uh, disappointment, basically. And <laughs> when I heard this, I was just, I was just thinking, I was like, that's cute, that's cute, he's trying to act all, like, high and mighty, alright, okay, whatever, no big deal, I just think it's funny, but, uh, I made a hilarious joke, uh, and it's not really a joke, it's actually the truth, I'm, I'm, when you guys hear me say this, you're, you're probably gonna agree, I, I said, in all fairness, Ninja, porno is one million times more watchable than, whatever the fuck you do on fart night. <laughs> yeah, you know? Like, burn! I'm sorry, I know it's cringy to pat yourself on the back, but I think I should do that. 
<laughs> anyway, um, yeah. And am, also, am I the only one who's, uh, you know, who's upset that he's not a real ninja? Fucking poser. At least my video game, uh, uh, gamer tag on X Xbox Live, uh, well, I'm not really into Xbox Live anymore, but it's, uh, Insane Maniac, you know? At least I represent. My fucking Xbox name is accurate to who I am in person. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> yeah, okay. I just thought that was funny to talk about. Whew, man, this video is going on forever. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not even close to done. So now I want to get a little more serious. I want to talk about the recent shootings. Horrible shit. Horrible shit going down. Like, I all know, I, I know we all have our differences and we call each other names, blah, blah, blah. But this shit is the ultimate in going too far. I know you can't make everybody happy. But you also can't get your way by being a violent monster person, alright? And Trump and his gang of business criminals are blaming video games, violent video games, as if uh, it's the 90s or something. Actually, I think they blamed the games in the 70s and 80s also. I think they said, like, Dungeons and Dragons was, like, satanic cold warship stuff or something like that. And Yeah. Ridiculous. This has a history. <laughs> also pretty fucked up how uh, shootings just happen just about every day in this country, but they only get talked about, like, if ten or more people get killed. If it's just, like, three or four, then no one really gives a shit. It's kind of fucked up how we're becoming more desensitized to it, you know, like, oh yeah, that's normal, it happens all the time, whatever. Like, that's... Anyway. But yeah, Jim Sterling, he did a great video talking about this recently. Now, I know I was hard on Jim in the past and acted like a, a pretty big dickhead towards him just because I, I disagreed with some of his review scores for some of his games. But that being said, that, that's just opinion and taste stuff. If you like a game that I don't, it's not really a big deal to me, unless you give, like, horrible fucking reasons that don't reflect reality in the slightest. But even then, it, it's really not a big deal. I know in the past I've acted like a huge prick if you didn't share the same taste in gaming as I did. And a lot of time I would do it jokingly. Sometimes I would be serious, you know. And, and for that, I'm sorry. Joking, serious, either one. I was a real ass about it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, ever since, I, I've grown up quite a bit about that kind of stuff, honestly. So, like, if you like Halo 5's gameplay, then that's fine. I don't. But if that... But if you do, then that's great for you, you know? Like, I'm happy for you. You were able to find some enjoyment out of that dog shit game. <laughs> you know, I prefer the Bungie Halo feel. That's just my personal preference, you know? I don't like the Call of Duty cloned Halo, alright? I'm sorry. One thing you can't argue, though, is that microtransactions and other forms of wallet rape in this industry are pretty fucking shameless. Anyone defending that shit is just plain clueless or is basically being a disingenuous shill, some fucking bad faith acting piece of shit, honestly. Like, or you're just that much of a delusional fanboy who doesn't... Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Who who doesn't like legitimate complaints being tossed at their favorite video games and favorite developers, you know? There are those people out there. You know, the Nintendo can do no wrong. Xbox is the greatest thing ever. You know, the culty types. You, you're really not going to get through to many of them. They're, they're going to have to figure that shit out for themselves. Their brains need to grow. <laughs> Maybe you can help them a little, but it's mostly up to them, I would argue, I think. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what's going through their minds. Those those people are pretty fucking nuts. I don't think I was ever that fucking crazy when I was a fucking teenager, but whatever. We're all different. Uh, you know, but they say things, you know. But they need to have microtransactions to pay for the games they are making. No, that's fucking bullshit. 
Explain then how games before microtransactions were a thing. Explain how games today that are big budget projects don't let wallet rape in, like Breath of the Wild, God of War 4, Witcher 3, you know? The industry treats its workers like shit for the most part, while the asshole CEOs walk away with several million dollars a year. What the fucking fuck? So, uh, what was that about them needing the money to make the games as good as they are? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut the fuck up with that argument. You don't have to buy the microtransactions if you don't want to. Yeah, you ever hear that one? Please. Okay, fucking please. A lot of the time, you do have to buy the microtransactions if you want to keep up with the competition or be popular or whatever. Pay to win is the thing in a lot of these fucking games. Kids these days, I didn't even know about this. Kids actually bully each other in the schoolyard for not buying Fortnite microtransactions. Yeah. Isn't that fucking crazy? They'll call you like a default scrub or something like that. Like, <laughs> what? Like, in my day, you got called a nerd and were made fun of by jocks or whatever for being into video games. Then people, then everyone started playing video games and then they stopped doing that. And now, you get made fun of if you don't buy the Carlton dance or whatever? <laughs> what the? Fucking, it's flip-flopped. It's fucking insane. Ridiculous. Yep, crazy world, right? Crazy world. Um, it's not the same as gambling. Stop lying. Have you ever heard that one? What I always say to those guys is, uh, you're right, asshole. You're right. It's worse than gambling. At least at a fucking casino, I might win some real-life fucking cash that I can do something with. Yeah. Unlike video game microtransactions where I'm basically getting digital nothingness. To look even more stupid while doing the Carlton dance in Theftony or Fortnite or whatever, you know? Like, fuck loot boxes, fuck all the wallet rape schemes. Whatever happened to focusing on making good quality games instead of suckering customers, you know? Like I said, I know it's always been about the money, but back then it was like 90% about the money. Today it's like 99% about the money, you know? Quality and innovation are becoming more and more rare as time goes on. You know it's true. Luckily, there are still decent games being made from time to time. But still, this is a pretty lame problem. $1,000 says that the new Call of Duty is going to have microtransactions. I wish microtransaction games like Call of Duty would just straight up tell us how they really feel about us, you know? Say something to us like, hey, you fucking morons who are actually playing this garbage, it's going to have microtransactions and you can go fuck yourself. How do you like that? You know? Like the developers at Call of Duty and all those producers and shit and Activision, they should just say something like that to us, you know? Just be honest. Just be straight up. Just fucking tell us. Another $1,000 says that a bunch of Halo YouTubers who suck ass, like uh, Halo Diarrhea, Full of Crap Man, Gavin, Halo Follower, that little boy, uh, what, what's his name? I can't remember his name. I've been out of the Halo loop f for good reason, too, after Halo 5 and Halo Wars 2. Jesus. Seeing all you Halo YouTubers act all hyped for Halo Infinite is just fucking sad. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, but I, I can't watch men lower themselves to such pathetic levels. It, it, it's too much. 343 has fucked you over and fucked up time and time again and you guys still kiss the 343 cock. Well, a lot of you guys are actually 343 shills, like uh, Green Shill over there, so you guys stand to make money off of 343 existing and continuing to suck. So you keep supporting that 343 dick, because you love sucking it down. You love having it shoved up your ass so far that you can taste it. <laughs> taste it in the back of your mouth, you know? That's, that's what you guys, a lot of you guys are, you know? It's fucking shameless. Like... You guys really should be ashamed. Fucking low as fuck. 
There's too many of those gamer shill channels out there. I thought it was bad enough that there's a lot of them in the Halo community, you know? Jesus fucking Christ. And a lot of these guys are loot crate people. And... Don't even get me started on how fucking stupid it is to subscribe to the loot crate shit. Like, I'm sorry, if you do that, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know? Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, late night lame king. Yeah, that's the, that kid's name. Uh, yeah, okay. That doucher. Now I remember. All of these kinds of assholes. Thousand Bucks says that most of them will be getting the new Call of Duty this year, along with what other, whatever other fucking big dumbass bro shooters come out. You know, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Pathetic. That's a big reason why I can't take these shitbags seriously. They can be funny and informative on gaming news to a decent degree. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I think that. Which is nice, but, uh, you know, in the end, they just shill it up or fanboy it up, and it's bad, you know? You know damn well that they're going to buy this garbage despite their criticisms and complaints. They're going to buy it. And at some point, you got to draw a line in the sand and say, hey, you know what, I'm going to stop giving you fuckers money because you just fucking fail and disappoint all the time, you know? But, you know, I guess it's not that bad to these nitwits. I guess, uh, you know, being a shill for 343 and using your YouTube channel to try to generate uh, revenue off the Halo franchise for yourself is is a thing that you guys are into, so... Of course you're going to keep buying 343's dog shit and make videos about it. Like, you're part of the problem. You know that, right? You're part of the fucking problem. Anyone who doesn't see that, you're kind of part of the problem, too. You need to wake up. So, yeah. These kinds of people, they don't actually care about voting with their wallets in order to make a better gaming world. Anyways, I'm trailing off. Ba back to what I was saying about Jim Sterling. So, yeah, I disagree with his taste in gaming a dec decent bit, and I was kind of harsh on him towards that for that. So, I, I, I apologize, but... Yeah, that guy stands up to microtransaction bullshit, like a lot. Jim Sterling is the dude who has his people investigate the fuck out of the horrible business practices of the industry, from sexual assault to making developers work like slaves to wallet rape. Surprise mechanics? Yeah, surprise mechanics. That's the new term they want to push for microtransactions or loot boxes or whatever. Cunts, right? Fucking cunts. So... Check out Jim's video on it. He's the man. He did a good job. He makes the argument that uh, Trump blaming video game, violent video games, is just a distraction from gaming's actual fucking problems, like loot boxes. Jim knows his shit on this issue. If you can't see that he's right, you're either clueless or a jackass or an asshole or all of those things, whatever. The real problem is assholes with guns, okay? Do something to try to slow down assholes with guns, okay? Blaming video games is completely fucking not even related to this. Really, Jesus Christ. Blaming video games for fucking white supremacist Nazi motherfuckers shooting innocent people. It's pretty fucking dumb, you know? Even if games somehow did have a connection, which they might very, 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 very fucking loosely, like, you could blame drinking water... <laughs> on fucking mass shooter violence as easily as you could blaming video games, basically. Kind of. Uh, anyway, my point is blaming video games for the gun violence is fucking dumb, you know? It's just a distraction, really. But yeah, it's about the money, the microtransactions, you know? Like, you gotta stay focused on that. That's the real problem in the gaming world. Like, mass shootings is a huge problem, but that's an issue separate to video games, goddammit. You know? It's runaway capitalism, man, you know? Since the gaming world has blown up in popularity, it's being stripped for all the sweet cashish that the corporate cocksuckers can squeeze, okay? It's, it's a very hard problem to fight. Almost impossible, really. And the only thing, sadly, that 
fucking average Joe types like me can really do about it is try to fight it by sticking to and recommending the games that are not full of wallet rape and are actually decent games. You know, that's all we can do really is vote with our wallets. Don't buy rip-off bullshit. Buy quality. And, and before some of you fuck nuts out there give me that don't tell me how to spend my money bullshit, like, before you guys give me that shit, like, I, I got two things to say. Uh, number one, no one's money is ever fully their own, okay? We live in a society. We work together. Who helped you get gas in your car? Who helped get that gas to the gas station? Who made the roads you could drive on? Who made those clothes that you're wearing? Who made your house exactly? It's not all 100% your money, dude. Everything's fucking linked, all right? Secondly... I can't force you to do jack shit, so so calm your tits and close your butt cheeks, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to give advice and help keep you from supporting greed and evil and being fucking stupid with your money, that's all. My words don't physically force you to physically do stuff, okay? I'm not a fucking wizard. Jesus. Can't believe I have to say that, but yeah. Anyway, if you're a gamer that doesn't understand what I just fucking said, you need to learn real fucking quick, and you need to wake up uh, and do it fast before you one day find yourself wasting thousands of dollars on fart night outfits or whatever, okay? That uh, Hassan Minaj guy, he he's pretty cringy in my opinion a lot of the time, and he's not that funny, kind of, but whatever. I don't, I don't have a, any, any real problem with the guy. But he did do a great video showing off how horrible crunch culture is in the gaming development world. And for those who don't know, crunching is a term used to describe piss-poor treatment that game developers go through. L long overtime hours spent on coding and glitch testing that they don't get paid for. Sexual harassment and stuff like that is a thing. Uh, sorry, gamers, but there is a dark fucking underbelly to the places where a lot of our favorite video games are created. It's fucked up, and that kind of thing should be stopped to a large degree. I I imagine how much better games would be if the guys creating them were, were happy, got to be as creative as possible, got all the time they needed to create the games and make them as good as they really felt they could make them. It wouldn't be as bad as it is now, that's for sure. You know? Speaking of the bad, though, that brings me to us gamers, the customers. A lot of us gamers are on the right, not me. <laughs> but many, though, are on the salt right. Anti-feminist, angry, incel virgin types with no job, no schooling, no love life, no life in general, no dick. <laughs> you morons think that women with blue hair are the biggest problem in gaming or some shit. I have seen you fucknuts bitch more about the invisible straw man SJWs that don't really fucking exist m more than uh, microtransactions. It's mind-boggling. Talk about a bunch of total fucking losers and idiots you guys are. Attacking an invisible boogeyman while your wallets are being pickpocketed by corporate greed due to your own fucking stupidity and misplaced anger. A lot of you fucks deserve to be fucked over financially, honestly. That's how it feels, anyway. Like, you guys wanted President Trump, and, uh, what's he doing? Making games o overall more expensive with his tariffs that he's going to be pulling out of his ass soon, and also giving video games a bad rep that they don't deserve. You know? Many other countries have violent video games, but they don't have a mass shooter problem that's anywhere near as bad as ours. So this argument that games make people violent is pretty fucking weak. I'm pretty sure even a lot of you dumbass salt writers can fucking agree with me on that, even though you're gonna just turn right around and support Trump at the end of the day because you're... you're dumbass Trump supporters, you know? Whatever. I got a question, though. Many mass shooters don't play video games, so how do you explain that? Here's another question. What if all you play is Hello Kitty Island Adventure? Are you a violent person then? <laughs> yeah, like, I guess they just talk about the violent games, huh? And who's to say which ones are really violent necessarily? That's kind of a gray area, you know? Uh, but yeah, 
like terrorists have been known to drink water, should we ban water? This message brought to you by Pepsi. <laughs> you see, you see how fucked up the kind of, that kind of bullshit coming from the salt right is, you know, like, my God. And then they want to make Antifa sound as bad as the Nazi groups, which are horse, which is horse shit. Like, how many people has Antifa killed? Fucking zero. How many people have the Nazi types killed this year alone? Hundreds. So shut the fuck up, salt right. You're full of shit. All right. I don't get why a lot of you gamer types are down with President Trump and his fucking bullshit. Uh, he doesn't give a flying fuck about you dipshits. He wants to throw you under the rape bust that he admitted to sexually assaulting women on. All right. Like, like I'm so fed up with the future of gaming and assholes like you guys. So much to the point where, as a matter of fact that I, I, I kind of wish that they would take away your our video games. Like, fuck it, if that's how it's going to be. I kind of kind of get vibes like that, not going to lie. This is what you idiots asked for, apparently. But let's get real, though, okay? Let's get real. Games aren't going anywhere. Trump is just a stupid asshole. He might be able to impact uh, the gaming community, uh, the gaming world negatively to a degree, but it's not like his modern Gestapo will bust down the doors and physically grab all our video game consoles and computers, confiscate them, you know, like, nah, that's not going to happen, they're too busy harassing brown people for horrible, stupid fucking reasons, so yeah. But like I said, I don't get why a lot of you idiots support that dude, the reps are, are the party of old farts anyway. I get that you morons are racist and sexist, but come on. You really want to be the party that's full of old, lame, white dudes? <laughs> like, no wonder you guys are never going to get laid. Oh, and, and before I forget, I never said that all gamers are sexist or racist, okay? What I'm saying here, and what I'm always fucking saying here, is that only a portion of gamers are racist and sexist. Duh! Gamers like Sean, H-Bomb, myself, etc., etc., are not racist and sexist. Just to give you a few examples of people who are not racist and sexist. I shouldn't have to make that so fucking obvious and so fucking clear, but apparently I do because of bitch-ass bitches like GLL, Firestarter, Blue Flaming Ninja, and many others who don't fucking pay attention properly. <sighs> That's right, I didn't forget, and I still feel stupid for being friendly with you assholes in the past. But then I learned who you cunts really are, and what gigantic stupid assholes you fuckers truly are. So yeah. Now I know Blue Flaming Ninja recently came to me and asked to be friends again, and put our, our beef aside. But I noticed he still subbed to alt-right type characters. And he never said sorry for wrongfully accusing me of saying stuff that I never fucking said in the first place, motherfucker. So, he can go fuck himself, I'm sorry. Sorry, guy, but if you want to get back into being cool with me, you know, you have to own your shit, alright? You gotta own your shit. Do that, and I would gladly give you redemption, and go back to being your friend. And I would even apologize for a lot of the mean things that I said to you, you know? I do feel bad about that shit. But, you know, you, you fucking caused this. What can I say? I know it sounds childish, but, uh, it is truly the epitome of all battles between people. You started it, bro. <laughs> anyway, I know I'm a broken record when I'm talking about these pricks, but our, our falling out, it was a very unpleasant experience that's fucking embarrassing. Shame on them for being such stupid, childish assholes who didn't want to admit that they accused me of saying shit that I never said. And when I proved that fact, they denied it like a cult of crazy fucking weirdos that don't live in reality. It was... Uh, it was so bad that... Shame on me for thinking that they would never be that fucked up and stupid. So yeah, like I said, embarrassing. But whatever. I guess we all fuck up sometimes. I can at least admit when I fuck up, though. 
You Nazi types have a real fucking hard problem doing that. And don't deny it, you fuckers. You guys are Nazi types. Come on, just admit it. I see who the fuck you fuckheads sub to. Paul Joseph Schwatzen, Soygon, Chowderboy, and his, uh, you know, annoying with asshole bit that he does, a dim fool, and, uh, you know. I know what kind of beliefs you assholes hold. Once I stopped just talking to you morons about video games and started to see where your politics lie and that they're fairly Nazi-oriented politics, you guys are... <sighs> Man. When I saw that, that the hatred and racist and sexist beliefs that you guys were all about, when I saw that... I learned how fucked up in the head you guys really are, you know, like, how full of hate you fuckers are, how fucking miserable you fuckers are, and how you're lonely and just looking for other miserable fucks to be with you so you can have someone who's also miserable to hang out with. It's really sad. Misery loves company. I really feel bad for you Nazi types. One day you morons will likely attempt suicide around age 30, 40. You'll look in the mirror and you'll finally grow smart enough to, uh, to realize that, you know, there's a fuck-up staring back at you in that mirror. A total fucking loser and total stupid asshole who never did a decent thing for anyone, let alone himself. That will be a very sad day for you. And uh, if you're lucky, you will be spared on that day, you know? You'll overcome it. And then maybe you'll start trying to make up for it by not, by not being so shitty, you know? Like, or, you you know, <laughs> you'll, you'll continue into your 60s. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to live that long, continuing to be a complete fool. Whatever. That's the other thing that could happen. Either way, my, my point is that you guys are very stupid. I'm pretty dumb and everything, but you guys, sheesh, bottom of the barrel with you guys. No, it, it's worse than that. You guys broke through the bottom of the barrel, and you're leaking out onto the hot pavement only to fucking evaporate. It's just a waste. It really is. Uh, but bad enough I'm ashamed for not seeing who you fuckers really were. My focus on games and my lack of political understanding led me to think that you guys were cool. You guys were my buddies just because you were upset with the state of Halo just like me. Just because you guys sometimes would shit on microtransactions just like me. But then I learned that you guys were Nazi boot bootlicker types, you know. And uh, I was about to say buttlicker types. What's the difference, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I wish I learned that about you motherfuckers sooner, you know? A big reason why I chilled out on the 343 bashing is because of that. Well, there's lots of reasons. I've been there, done that. I've said all I really wanted to say. Uh, I've been getting a little carried away with my anger and hatred. Yeah, yeah, you know, call me triggered all you want. You would be right to do so. I was losing it a, a good bit in my rants there. And uh, when I learned that many who uh, I was siding with turned out to be Nazi types, I was super embarrassed. Another reason why I, I ignore the 343 fanboys instead of actually talk to them and argue with them and try to have any kind of productive dialogue, and it's because I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed that one of them will know my past and say to me that, well, I shouldn't take you seriously, David. You're, uh, you were buddy-buddy with those Nazi types like GLL. <laughs> you know, God damn it, they would be right to say that. I fucking was, God damn it, and didn't even know it when I honestly should have. <sighs> Why didn't anyone bother to tell me this stuff? Fucking frustrating. I, I guess because most gamers don't care and don't notice, and a lot of gamers on YouTube are salt right fuck nuts that sub to Soygon anyway, so that's a thing. People already didn't take me very seriously because I was such a jerk to those who supported microtransactions and microtransaction games in general. Like, I was a real dick. Like, I, I told people to fucking kill themselves for defending microtransactions, in, 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 even in the slightest. Like, I was very extreme and 
being a real verbal asshole, and uh, yeah, I, I feel bad and embarrassed about that. Jesus. Um, I never meant it. I never meant that they should kill themselves. I was just being a gigantic asshole. You know, but I was just frustrated with their support for evil bullshit due to their stupidity and whatnot. But still, that was very not cool of me to do. Yes, microtransaction shills out there are lame as fuck and help to ruin the gaming world and gaming's future, but I was going overboard, I really was. But that already put a lot of people off towards my views of extreme hatred towards microtransactions. If they find out that I was pals with Nazi type gamers, then they would just give that would just give them even more reason to hate me and not listening not listen to me. Uh it was a major fuck up on my part to not see that these guys were Nazi shitheads, you know. <laughs> Get it? Not see? I did not see that one coming. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, I I I defended and praised those guys a lot and uh, I'll never live that down. I, I'll, I feel dirty. After getting to know them better, I would often see them act sexist or racist, and I would let it slide, thinking, okay, that was kind of fucked up what they just said, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Then when they attacked me for the dumbest of reasons, I, I started looking deeper into who these fuckers really were, and I was still trying to be sympathetic to them, but... Uh, once I really started to learn about their politics and that they were Nazi shithead types, like, uh, I, I ended up digging up a lot of dirt on them, and that's why I did all those videos talking about how fucked up they are. And, uh, yeah, I learned who the salt right talking heads of YouTube were in the process. That's when I was truly convinced that these guys who I was siding with in gaming related issues also happened to be alt right, basically, so that sucks. Never fun to realize that someone that you deem an, as an ally actually turns out to be quite the shithead all along, just not in an area that you were focused on or noticing. Uh. If I were to talk to someone like Late Night or uh, Halo Diarrhea, <laughs> and call them a shill or a 343 fanboy or, a, or something like that, even though I would have a really good point and evidence to back it up, they could just bring up my past of siding with Nazi fuckheads to discredit me and no one would listen to me, and they would kind of have a point to do so, which totally fucking sucks. So, yeah, I'll never live this one down. I'll always feel stupid about this. I just hope people understand that I was just stupid, okay? I don't want people thinking that I'm actually down with racists, like these uh, media fascists like Choderboy and Soygon and Schwatzen and Thundercunt and Hunter Avalon and uh, Full of Bullshit, you know, like all those guys, you know? I'm not down with those motherfuckers, no. Now go on and call me a soy boy or whatever. Ha ha ha. Very funny, right? That's great. Still better than being a mayonnaise boy incel, right? I mean, that being stan said, you know, uh, my stance against evil bullshit in the gaming world will continue regardless of how badly my reputation looks, okay? In the end, I'm just a bungee halo guy who likes quality games and is very against wallet rape. I am also very against Nazi types. I do goofy reach clips, and that pretty much sums up this channel, all right? That's what I am and who I will always be, pretty much. But yeah, that sort of sums up my experience with the Halo community thus far, and sort of explains why I'm losing interest in talking about Halo's future these days. Like I said, <sighs> I don't even play Halo that much anymore. Nowhere near as much as I used to. So yeah, uh, guys like Halo Diarrhea and Halo uh, Halo Follower, uh, that guy sucks. They're, they're kind of like the MSNBC or CNN of Halo. And then you got guys like GLL, they're more like the Fox News of Halo. <laughs> but then you got guys like me, and I'm, I'm trying to be more of a progressive Halo person. Kind of like Bernie Sanders, who's just trying to do his best by Halo with what, what's left of it and what we got to work with, you know? 
Sure, I'm not perfect, and no one is. Uh, we've all made mistakes like anybody, but my heart is clearly in a better place than these assholes, so, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, guys, I've been busy as fuck with work and shit. Haven't uh, seen you in a while, Eric Lee. Where the fuck have you been, man? Ugh. Hope you're doing well. Y did you check out the debates? What a fucking joke, right? Bernie Sanders seems to be killing it pretty good, though. Good for him. He's probably the best guy to be president. Sad to say, any of these folks are better than Trump. Even Biden, that corporate shill dipshit who can't remember anything. I think he's too old or something going on there. Even Harris, that pig cop. Even Booker, that pharmaceutical cockroach, you know. Even Beto, that useless guy who's running for president for some reason. All those guys are better than Trump. Although uh, Beto, his reaction to the shootings was him at his best, I gotta say. Mad respect. Fuck those of you defending Trump and the shooter, okay? Like the El Paso shooter is a piece of shit. His manifesto reads just like a Trump speech. Like, he was clearly a Trump fan, you know? He motivated to hurt innocent people in Trump's name. Fucking ridiculous. Huh. I'm sorry, but you're part of the problem, Trump, all right? Trump the wimp. You can go fuck yourself, you fucking asshole. The, the the victim's not wanting to see you is totally warranted. You are a racist shitbag after all, and you inspire mass shooters to to fucking kill people like this. It's it's fucked up. You're you're partly to blame. So fucking resign already, all right? You, your fucking kids, your dumbass administration will go down in history as fuck ups to this nation. Just quit before it gets worse for you, okay, you fucking asshole? Get the fuck out of the goddamn power positions of this goddamn country, all right? Fuck off. <sighs> now I want to talk about something else. What about that Epstein uh, killing himself? What the fuck? That's some crazy shit. I wonder what the details on that are. I don't like to get into conspiracy theory territory, but a lot of horrible rich assholes would benefit from him being silenced. And, and a good way to silence someone who might expose some really fucked up shit about you is to have them killed. Bill Clinton was apparently involved with them big time. Uh, was Bill fucking underage girls? Like, <laughs> we may never know. He was probably somewhat involved in some really fucked up shit, though. Jesus. So was Trump, you know? Anyways... <sighs> Back to school is starting, and I'll be busy as fuck, you know. Uh, work has turned me into a slave these days. I think I'm going insane. I think I should watch less news. It's depressing as fuck, you know, over the past uh, few weeks. Innocent people getting gunned down by Nazi shitheads. ICE being Nazis to, to people. President Trump being a stupid asshole, useless, and just shitty overall as usual. I uh, saw a deported man dies from wrongful deportation by racist means. Video games causing violence is actually being talked about again. Yeah, this fucking planet blows. <sighs> like, you know how people say that you should lighten up and learn to take a joke? I think they got a point, but I, I would like to add to that. Also learn who's joking and who's actually a bad faith acting pile of human garbage, okay? Like, like find out who's meaning to just make you laugh and find out who's genuinely trying to fuck you over and be a piece of shit that's trying to play your bitch ass, alright? I think that's good advice too, so I just wanted to list that. Ah. Yeah, guys, I haven't gotten any rain here in San Antonio for like a month. Almost two months now, yeah, actually. This climate change shit is fucked. This is like super hot lately. You know, like, my poor fucking lawn is fucked up. Just the other day, me and my bro, we just let the hose run on the fucking lawn and moved it in different places, like, from time to time. Like, we let the hose run for like six hours. Like, we're desperate. <laughs> yeah, this is fucked up. Oh, my God. Yeah, but 
it doesn't seem to matter what I do. It, it's so bad that even if we got rain, I don't think it would help. I think the hot, the sun is just so fucking hot. It doesn't matter what you do. It's burning. It's gonna fucking burn. So yeah, that sucks ass. But oh well, at least I'm making the big bucks at work. Uh, I'm gonna be getting. Uh, whew, excuse me. I'm gonna be getting more guitar shit. Uh, um. But uh, as far as new guitars go, I think I'm going to stop. Uh, I already got like four strats now, you know. My uh, 99 American Standard Strat is fucking amazing. It's in Sunburst, and I got a warm moth neck on it that's customized to look super old school and vintage. But it plays like a modern guitar in a lot of ways. It's very vintage modern. Uh, yeah, it's right here. It's pretty badass. Check it out. Well, I know you guys can't see, but... Yeah, I'll play some shit. I've been learning some stuff. I'm not very good. I'm mediocre at guitar, but... Yeah, let me play some stuff on here for you real quick. Yeah, this is my 99 Strat. Uh, yeah, it's fucking sick. Alright, let me try to remember how to play real quick. Yeah, so, uh... What should I play? I learned some game stuff on guitar. Hopefully this thing's in tune, and I think it's a little out of tune. Okay, so, yeah, uh, man, I haven't played in a little few days, so... Yeah, this is a Breath of the Wild song that I learned on guitar, it's pretty sick. Okay, I fucked up like ten times, but uh, not too bad. I'm a little rusty. Uh, what else can I play? Oh, I've been trying to learn that Velvet Room song from the, what do you call it, the fucking, uh, the fucking Persona franchise. I'm not a fan of the Persona franchise. I don't really have any of the games. Uh, uh, wait, no, I did, I did get uh, Persona 5. I found a good deal on, like, uh, a, a pack version of the game that came with all the DLC shit and all that stuff, so, yeah, I've been meaning to play that, haven't really gotten into it, uh, but yeah, it's got some funky fucking tunes, and I, I dig the music in that game, you know? Um, how's it go? Uh...
Okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yep. It, like I said, I'm not that good. And uh, I was learning that Where's My Mind song by the Pixies. How's that go? I don't know. So yeah, I'm I'm rusty. I need to play more. The action on this guitar, I need to fucking set it up a little better. But it's still badass. I really like this thing. I know a Mario song. I think. Not bad. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm sucking. I didn't think I'd suck that hard. But anyway, uh, yeah, cool shit. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, final thoughts, guys, the usual stuff. Keep trying to dodge microtransactions. Keep trying to be excellent to each other, you know. Keep sticking to the games that are the greats of our time. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Diablo 2, StarCraft, Half-Life, Resident Evil 2, Ocarina of Time, Final Fantasy 7, Mario RPG, Secret of Mana, Metroid Prime, Silent Hill, fucking Morrowind, Fallout New Vegas, Perfect Dark 64, Dark Souls, Halo Combat Evolved, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. The greatest games of all time, that kind of shit. And if you're not trying to do that stuff that I just mentioned, uh, you really should try to. I do, and I haven't been this fucking happy ever, you know? Anyways, uh, here's to hoping that the MCC works great on PC with Halo Reach. Uh, I'm not very hyped, <laughs> but if it does turn out to be good, yeah, you know, maybe I'll get it uh, dirt cheap one day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry again for being repetitive, you know. Uh, everyone's like that a little bit, so whatever. But, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Keep being awesome, those of you who deny fascism and deny microtransaction horseshit, you know. Uh, yeah. Folks that stand up to bullies in this world, they, they make life worth living, you know, no one's perfect, but you know what I mean, <laughs> like, not everybody acts like fucking Hitler either, and that's a good thing, most point of fact, you know, so, I love you guys out there who are trying to do the right thing, keep being you, you guys kick ass, and, uh, without people like you, I would have killed myself a long time ago, guys like, folks like you make the world worth living, and of course, try not to watch too much news, too much negativity and sadness can get you down sometimes. Take a second to look at the clouds in the sky. Don't stare at the sun, though, like Trump. He's a fucking idiot. But, oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, or what was it, like an eclipse or something? Like, I can't remember. He, 
supposed to wear the glasses. Anyway, that guy does so many stupid fucking things. But, yeah, uh, take a second to look at the clouds from time to time. Take a second to see some wildlife in the real world, you know. Take a second to be with some of your loved ones and enjoy the good things in life, you know. Too much of one thing can be pretty bad sometimes, and too much hatred, even if it's put to good use, can corrupt you and make you a very bitter, angry, shitty person who's wasting their life. You know? so, so basically what I'm saying is just take it easy. Th this whole video could have been summed up with just me saying, take it easy. <laughs> just remember to take it easy sometimes. But yeah, anyway, I, I hope you guys got something nice from this video. So thanks, guys. I really I really do appreciate it. Like, no, really. Like, th thanks for listening. You know, like, I, I take it for granted by my channel having over 150 subs. I know that's not a lot in a lot of people's eyes, but to me that's like, wow, that many people care what I think? Huh, what? <laughs> you know? Um, who actually, you, you guys actually listen to me and you often relate to me, and I think that's great that I'm not alone in my mindset. And uh, yeah, that's really cool, you know? I'm really trying to be a better person and just be nicer and happier overall, smarter and everything. And I think I'm making progress, you know? Uh, I often take for granted. Uh, yeah, more progress than I am at my guitar skill. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I often take for granted that I get hundreds of views per view video sometimes. And to me, that's a fuck, that's fucking a lot. You know, hell, if I only get like 10 people listening to me on a video, that would be a lot in my eyes. Uh, at least enough to make me feel like I've moved some folks and made some folks feel better about themselves. And at least give some decent uh, info and advice, whatnot. So yeah, thanks, fellas. Uh, always appreciate uh, you know anybody who stands up to bullies, stands up to fascism, stands up to microtransaction bullshit, and just stupid fucking crap all together, and tries to do the right thing, but at the same time enjoys life and knows how to have a good time and be happy. Yeah, you know? that's what it's all about. Anyways, uh, yeah, Eric Lee, uh, I hope to talk to you soon. I haven't talked to you in a while. You're always really fucking amazing to talk to, and uh, hope to see you there in the comments also. Jimmy Stangle, you're awesome, you know, and yeah. Sorry I haven't really done much on my channel. Again, I apologize, but, you know, fucking busy as shit and whatnot. Uh, lots of reasons. Anyway, guys, take care. Yeah, the video turned out to be two fucking hours. Holy shit. I'm not doing this again for a while. Uh, yeah, see you guys later.